Thank you very much, Jennifer. Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Farhad Hussein of as Jennifer introduced me. I'm a bridge design engineer and I work um, as a senior research associate at, at CSIC. Today, I will talk about the challenges infrastructure engineers are facing in maintaining their bridge stock and what potential benefits digital twin technology might offer for effective bridge asset management. Um, the current practice of maintaining bridge asset worldwide is based on visual inspections, which is qualitative and fail to estimate the remaining service life of, of a structure. And based on such methods, more than 20% of bridges in the UK are reported as structural deficient in some form, and some of them are put way to restrictions causing traffic delays. And when you imagine these substandard uh, bridges scattered um, on the map uh, across the country, it gives a clear picture of the magnitude of impact on the economy and the environment. However, previous studies show that most of the substandard bridges are actually much stronger than we think. For instance, the load test of 17 times higher than the anticipated load was applied to the bridge in Delaware, and the results show that it had been decommissioned despite a significant remaining load capacity. And another bridge in Sweden was tested to failure, and it could sustain almost five times the design load. Many more similar studies in cases can be found in a very interesting paper called bridge testing is surprise every time. So keeping um, such aging infrastructure in service as long as possible and also identifying the structures that are really damaged is the main motivation behind our research in CSIC. And we believe this could be achieved using the state of our technology called digital twins. So digital twins is a realistic digital representation of something physical. This is the very simplistic description of it. And in essence, the key aspect of digital twin model is the connection with the physical. And what we see um, as a connection is the data feeding into it. In CSIC, we have instrumented a railway bridge in Staffordshire owned by Network Rail with fiber optic sensors that measure strain. And we have been acquiring huge amounts of data from the bridge since it was um, commissioned in 2015. And this data was acquired for a fraction of a second during the passage of a train. So we're dealing with big data sets. And the idea is that digital twin will process um, this data and provide useful insight about the condition of the bridge to enable better decisions that will allow um, interventions back on the physical asset itself. So we have two-way connection here. The smart infrastructure will report that in real time and digital twin will process this data and provide an accurate representation of structural condition. And even more, um, data will be interpreted by digital twins and provide to provide more information about what's happening at the site. For instance, by adding bridgeway in motion algorithm to the system, we can predict the axle rates of passing trains using the deformation data and then feed it back to the calibrated physical model to predict the stresses and deformations everywhere on the structure, such as in uninstrumented locations, then the system will not only be able to predict the load rating factor of the in entire structure, but identify the critical components for the maintenance and save huge costs. And having information such as train axle rate data would also be useful for overload monitoring and control purposes. All this useful information will be stored in a safe place on a BIM model that will exist in the cloud system. And what we will also do on top of that is to process this data from everywhere on the bridge using artificial intelligence algorithms and with the help of cloud computing platforms so we can begin to understand various conditions occurring on the structure and take that information from multiple parts and feed it to the system to refine it even further. In, and this repeated process will eventually become machine learning. And in return, then machine learning can run various damage scenarios and generate the deterioration model of the bridge. This will be particularly useful for the bridge owners to know when the bridge needs maintenance and element based. And looking to the future, then digital twins could be populated across the network. And when they start talking to each other, we can then truly unlock values. For instance, the system of digital maintenance among the bridge stock and to help to plan ahead. And it will be 
it will also be useful not only for maximizing the life cycle of the existing bridges, but also for optimizing design for new structures. For instance, um, such a system can use information from nearby digital twins and provide site-specific traffic load models for designing new structures. The traffic load model provided in design codes, such as Eurocode, are extremely conservative simply because the traffic load is highly variable. However, the previous research has shown that the statistical distribution of the traffic population is repeatable over a certain period, and this finding can help in generating site-specific load models. This would optimize the design, reduce the cost of new construction, and reduce the carbon emission, basically. Then the system of digital twins uh, for network rail can be integrated into the public bodies manage their um, own system of digital twins. The potential from benefit from such a model and could be enormous and at this stage it's likely to be beyond our imagination. Thank you very much.